Hey, you guys, we are back to do another review on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I ain't got no skit because I ain't got no chicken wings. Lemon pepper wings at like that. Yeah, Martell like lemon pepper and hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. That's, that's a good combination. I've had those before. Oh, so, yeah, 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 man. You just don't get tall, man. Stay tuned for more. We keep it real. What's up, Coed fam? Welcome back to another video, Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka Doug. This is my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Eddie. The channel is all about relationships, it's all about reviews, it's all about the entertainment. And tonight, we're going to be talking about what? Love and Marriage Huntsville. Yep. Yes. So if you're brand new to this oh, channel, you have to subscribe. Love and Marriage yeah. in Destin, Florida. Which one you want? I want you to be quiet so I can say my my segue. Mm -hmm. Baby Blaine says, shut up. All right, so if this is your first time joining and you haven't subscribed yet, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget that we do have a Patreon, so make sure you sign up for our Patreon. And what we're wearing today, yeah. you should be able to see it up on this video and go to our website and purchase. See, Mel said go with God. We say... Too blessed. Man, to they say go with God. Or well, God go with you. I don't know what she said. That's I smoke, but she didn't <laughs> say that. And God said go with something. They all sound the same to me. Well, they're not. Okay. Yeah, I can't be still her stuff. We ain't still her stuff, y'all. We had it first. Mm. All right, so it's a destined for better. That's the name of it. So it's um, for it? better. Anyway, so it starts out with Stormy is doing a photo shoot for her canvas beauty, and Tiffany is a part of it. I think she asked her, you know, a while back. And so Mel walks in, and, um, you know, so they all sit down to have a conversation. Mel said that, you know, hun, that Destiny invited her to a photo shoot. I think Tiffany's like, for what? You know, whatever. So she was like, you know, so they could sit down and have a conversation and talk. And Tiffany and Stormy are excited, honey, because it looked like their friendship was going to be back on track. Mel said, listen, it was just a conversation. We agreed just to be cordial with each other. And in her confession, she was like, I'm just tired of people trying to always force friendships and people to get back into a place they was before. Yeah, I agree. And that's why they be trying to do with marriages and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like people on Mel and Martell to get back together. I like them together, but if together equals toxicity, stay apart. Everybody has a season in your life. Sometimes you gotta let that chapter go and move on. And I was getting a little irritated. A lot of irritated. With Stormy and Tiffany. More so Tiffany. And more so Tiffany, you're right. You can't force somebody to be together. It was like he was trying to force Mel and Destiny to be friends again. It's just not meant to be. They was like, especially in Tiffany, she was like, Y'all, I'm so excited. Y'all friends, y'all friends, y'all friends. It's like you want Mel to say something shady, in my opinion. That's why you kept asking these questions. Oh, you think so? Yeah. You know that she knew she wanted Mel to say something like, you know, we ain't friends. It got to the point, Tiffany got on my nerves so bad, I started rocking back and forth like that. <laughs> <laughs> she was working my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, <laughs> Sophia, oh hey, my God, it's all right, Sophia. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was just that was cringing. So, um, may I also tell them say um, that you know we are going on a vacation together. You know, we want to normalize the kids just having a good space and a place for their parents to be in to be able to co-parent. You know, hey, together. Here they go again. Ooh, y'all getting back together. Ooh, that looks nice. Ooh. And once again, I started rocking back and forth. Ooh. They were working back. <laughs> Sophia home. <laughs> Sophia home. Now pass them, please. I was just saying, why are they trying to force somebody 
to get back together, man. Now, like you said earlier, yeah, it, it was good to see Mel and Martell and the family together. It was, you know. Every time I see that, I get mad at Martell. Because you had a beautiful family, man. You know, it's, it could have been other ways you and Mel could work your problems out, man, instead of you going out there and sleeping on, you know, with another woman. That's just my personal opinion. Um, Mel said that, you know, um, she has seen, oh, she also said that, you know, the moms are coming as well. That's what they used to do a long time ago. And they trying to just normalize that and trying to get the kids back into that place oh, and space, yeah, you know, um, and I think it's a good idea to bring the moms too. Yeah. Um, but so, to me, you know, I'm like, well, Ross, I do agree with myself. It do give the kids, when they do that, it gives the kids hope. Like they don't get back together again. Cause they're they kids and you saw it. Oh, yeah. You saw it later on in the episode when they was going. Mm-hmm. Um, Mel said that she done seen growth in Martell, and but she will have a conversation with the kids to let them know, look, y'all, we ain't getting back together, ain't nothing that happening. Um, and she did say that, you know, her kids are intelligent, they're smart, you know, um, they can receive that well. Um, but she said, hopefully, Martell won't try to rekindle none, honey, because that note is closed, as Nina hey. said, that note is closed. Hey, y'all, I'm going to go against the grain with this one here. And y'all gonna probably who in the comments? Eh, nah. I don't think that door is closed all the way, you know, because you know, I know they're doing it for the kids, but you you saw the chemistry, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so that, that is just my just because they got chemistry, don't necessarily mean the door is closed, but I do agree, it's cracked, it's cracked, it might be, mm. it's cracked. I think Martel's still um charming and very persuasive. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, let me let me go back. Let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. The door was a little bit open at the time of filming, but now, as you know, since filming has ended and Martel has gone to other things, well, know, the door had got shut when they started going back and forth on social media. Yeah, but I'm just saying, especially oh, yeah. with uh, what's her name, Sharice, Sheree, Sheree. Yeah, with Sheree, yeah, that door is completely closed now. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, let's move on. So Destiny, Cousin Demi, and them are having a conversation. You could talk about that real brief. Oh, basically what he was saying, Demi, she has her own uh, makeup line. Mm -hmm. She's and, a makeup artist. Yeah, I think her and Destiny going to collab together and come out with a new line, a new product. Uh, but Demi was just asking Destiny, are you sure that you and Mel friendship is over and uh Destin said yeah you know we could be cordial but it's over with you know what i'm saying and Demi asked her oh so if mel came to you destiny and said hey destiny i'm gonna squash everything can we get back like we used to be and destiny told Demi, no it won't happen it's not gonna happen she said they need to be cordial and that's what they're gonna keep it at so they moved on. Um, but she also said that, you know, she know Martez in school. And I said, God, leave. Hopefully, hey, everybody, know. What you yeah, everybody, she know Mel, she know yeah. Tisha, she know Ma. Hustle's not that big. Yeah, it's just a Hustle's not that big. The Hustle streets are real small and people know everybody there. I get I got cousins up there. They, you know, they probably know uh Martell of them, you know what I'm saying? Plus, my cousin, he 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 he's in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Um, you also got a coworker that I got a coworker that went to school with them at AM. So yeah. you know, you know, so what they know up there, they come back and tell tell us. So you know what? So yes, we have the inside scoop on everything. So anyway, so <laughs> the next scene, Mel and her mom are um, at the house and they get ready. The kids jumping all off the couch, not the couch, the bed on the little stupid post sugar Ooh, mama child. Boy. I said, Lord, get sugar mama, honey, because she thinks she as big as them. <laughs> I tell you one thing, it was, that was mama, and she walked in and saw you jump on the bed like that. You gonna mess mess up a uh, box springs? <laughs> she, she, she gonna spank that the high for you. Ain't gonna mess up my matches and box spring. I paid too much money for that. That bed ain't made to jump on. It made to sleep in. Now I'll beat you till you go to sleep. So yeah, yeah. Oh, you said that word for word. That must have really happened yeah, it was, it was verbatim. Kind, it was kind of traumatic. <laughs> so 
so um, Mel was talking to Miss Van, and she was saying, you know, that she invited Martell, and she also invited uh, Martell's mom. Why they always got to play that scary music? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I thought it was only for own. I think we was watching another show on, on another network. It yeah, had the same know. sound. So I think that's the universal the universal sound of drama coming. Oh, oh something ain't right. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so Miss Van knew that Martel was coming, so that wasn't a shock. But she I guess she didn't know that Ms. Ms. Mar Marlene was coming. And her name Ms. Marlene. Yeah, Ms. Marlene. She was coming. And you know, Ms. Van said, Well, you know, we'll sit down and have a conversation. I hadn't seen her since the week, you know. She uh, didn't like the, the divorce. Way. Oh, sorry. Ooh, you trying to put them back together too, ain't you? Yes, oh boy! Don't you dare! It was screaming the count. No! Nah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so let's move on. So, Martell is packing with his mom, you know, so everybody had, had their own little scenes. So. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm packing like that going on vacation. Made me kind of jealous. Child, I'm ready to go. I was like, man, that should be us going on vacation again. So, Miss Marlene said that, you know, um, you know, everything is about the kids. She can't wait to see Miss Miss Marlene. Love them grandkids. Oh, Ooh, I love y'all. I love y'all. Kisses, kiss. I love y'all. I love y'all. So, um, so she says all about the kids. Martel said, you know, well, it's also about him and me too, I guess. I said, mm -hmm. is it? Mm -hmm. See, that was the first yeah. little breadcrumb right there okay. when he said that. Okay, what he means about is about him and Mar him and Mel. Mm -hmm. It's about the kids. Mm -hmm. Intriguing. Hmm. I know he said that. Y'all Mel music. Like, no, it ain't. No, nah, she need her piece. Nah. <laughs> well, Mel said she got her piece. That's why she invited her ex husband on this trip. So, you know, she in a peaceful place. Mm -hmm. So, um at the time. And Martel said that, you know, he tell Martel tells his mom what the guy said about, you know, the kids probably thinking they get back together. He said, What you think? She said, Well, talk to your children. You know what I'm saying? It's really true. I guess basically telling them what's going on, getting in the heads up, mm -hmm. letting them know the truth. So let's move on to Kimmy and Maurice. So it looks like they're in the car and Kimmy has had a hey, first a first chemo. Yeah. And um you can tell she was she looked so tired, man. I just like I feel so bad for Kimmy. Again, I have a close friend that has been through it and when and she tells me when the chemo day Sometimes she could be weak for days. You know, yeah. it's really true that she just want to get in the bed because it takes all of her energy. And for some time. reason, it just drains that patient. I don't know why it drains the patient. You know, I'm not a doctor, but every time I hear somebody going through chemo, the day of chemo, when they leave, they are drained. Like, it just sucks the energy away. Yep. So she said that um, she had to do 16 weeks of chemo, then surgery, and then the uh we could radiation radiation um they had to do uh, a test to make sure it hadn't spread it through her body and thank god it had and also a genetics test i guess to see if it yeah. came from somewhere else. right that's just so weird that it can skip everybody that only that one person can get it in your family a cancer you know i know they said everybody has a cancer cell in their body that's dormant for some reason it activates and spreads i don't know why but my thing is this, if, you know, hopefully we can get to the point of science that, you know, we can find that dormant cell in your body before it activate, before it activates and get rid of it and remove it from the body. That would I know be, it sounds so simple. That would be in a real world that there is not greedy people because they know that. Big Pharma love you. Right. They, they, they're not going to heal you. They're going right. to keep you alive. Right, right. Because. Uh, pharmaceutical sale, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Medicine sales, you know, having all this stuff sales, you know, like they were saying, we've said it before, you know, back in the day, cancer was like a rare thing that happened in the community. Mm -hmm. Very, Very rare. rare because now it's popping up more because of the food we eat, you know. You all, think that's one, yeah, of the that's one reason why, because all the processed food we eat, you know, and our body's not meant to, you know, it's not meant to digest that type of food, you know, and it just does something to our, to our cells and our bodies, you know, and, and yeah, so, yeah, man, I just, I know there's a way they can find and kind of isolate that cancer cell before it activates. I just, you know, I know I'm probably like, 
go missing after this. <laughs> no, you won't. In the name of Jesus, you'll be sitting right there. So the doctor told her it's a, a you know, is n- not anything positive when you have a tri- triple negative. You know what I'm saying? Just basically, the the doctor was just telling her straight up the truth, and she said she appreciate that, right. so she'll know what she's looking at. You know, um, it seemed like it's been months since they dealing with, it, but it's only been two weeks since all of this, you know, mm. has taken place. So let's move on. So Mel and the kids are traveling the distance and um, you know, Mel was telling y'all, but we know this, but Mel was telling y'all it is five hour trip from Alabama to distance. You know what I'm saying? From Huntsville to distance. Yeah. Actually, I thought it was a little bit longer because it takes us three hours from here to Gulf Shores. I think it's six hours for us. Yeah. From here to distance. Yeah, it's six hours. So it should be longer for us. You come, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cause she she's like yeah, a hour, two hour drive from here to, to Birmingham. Maybe it's four hours for us. Um, yeah, we. I don't. Too much no, I think it's four hours. Yeah, I think yeah. It's four hours. I don't too much care for distance. You know, um, we like to go. We like to go to Gulf Shores, which is still in Alabama. I don't yeah, know I, I Gulf think Gulf Shores had to me personally. I think that they have the better beaches. Yeah, they do. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah, I think the sand is kind of more cleaner. The water is more clearer. Uh, now if I had to go to a Panama City, in yeah, Destin. I think it, to, for for the the Panhandle. I'm talking about the Panhandle. I've been to Destin. I've been to uh, Panama City. I've been to uh, Gulf Shores. And I've been to Gulfport. Now Gulfport probably had the worst water because the water's come off from Mississippi. That's why it looks so dark. You know what I'm saying? They call it selling oh. the water. Uh, but the uh, rest of the beaches, you know, they got clear water. But I think Gulf Shores. Has to clean up beaches the orange beach. The orange beach. The orange beach, yeah. Um, so anyway, so while they was in the car driving, Mel was asking them, you know, what's your favorite thing about this? And some say you gotta you but, t- the kids, honey, you can't be telling me everything because they just gonna say whatever. And she said when her daddy had on what she said? The shorts. Yeah. Um Mel was uh, like, Okay, yeah, girl. Yeah, I don't know what she was. <laughs> You know, she the one that always gonna say something that just come off a little head. different, yeah. honey, than everybody else. Uh, going back to the beaches, I think the best beach we've been to, in my opinion, is Orange Beach in California. That's the best one so far. So yeah, so, yeah, I'm a I'm a beach United States beach connoisseur. So uh, you know, I ain't. <laughs> you really not. <laughs> They want y'all you're just showing out for the camera. Oh, beach kind of sore. Do I know how to swim? Oh, heck no. I just go on the beach and walk around. Do I take my shirt off while I walk on the beach? Oh, heck no. I just go <laughs> walk around. So, anyway, um, so let's move on to the uh, the next one. So, it seems as though that Kimmy is with her family. And um, so she was saying that her mom move down there to be closer to Kimmy so she can help take care of her. You know, um, normally, did she say that? Too? No, she said, uh, yeah, the mom, she wanted her mom to move down there so Kim can t- take care of the mom. Right. But it's ironic now the mom actually moved down okay. to take care of her now, right. take care of Kimmy. Yeah. And I have a, a bone to pick with her mom because she beat me at Bowden. And... She good too. Yeah, she crushed me, Baby, man. Man, she is good. Uh, and I wouldn't even now me and her daddy. Yeah, they her dad all in I crushed him, dog. Yeah. I crushed you, dog. Yeah. I crushed you. Yeah. But the mom, yeah, she but she, she got skills. She, 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 she don't play. She don't play. Now me and dad, he like me. Me and them was like, huh? <laughs> we just do it, honey. Just go sit back there. We tried it. <laughs> Honey, he was more uh, into other conversations yeah. and stuff like that. He really wasn't studying that. Like, but the mom, yeah, she can play. She, she can play man. I was surprised. God, this woman got some skill. I told her. Did I say? I think she had told me we'll try again or do better. I don't know what she had told uh, me something. But I said, listen, next year, I ain't going to beat you, but I'll just be there. Anyway, um, so they were talking, and um, Kimmy was just saying that, you know, she know that Jalen is, you know, like, feeling feeling it you know but he's very reserved person so you know he don't always show his emotions but she was like that's a baby right there you know um when kimmy was talking to all of them you know she was just saying anybody got any questions jayla said number one me when is we gonna rotate me and maurice you know uh did you want to say something yeah i think kimmy wanted maurice to be there with her most of the time because she wants him to kind of 
be there, you know. Oh, emotional yeah, support. yeah. And, you know, the, I know your son can be there for certain parts, but I think the husband, he should be there because, you know, y'all equally yoke, and he should be there through your trials and tribulations, in my opinion. Can I say this? And Kimmy made a good, you know, um, thing. Um, I think that she wants Maurice there so that she can be weak. Mm. When you got your child, then you trying to be strong so they won't be weak. That's, and that's just, a very good point. And you yeah. just used to being that mom that's saying, mm. you know, it's going to be okay. It's gonna... But when you got your husband, your spouse there, he can kind of be can, the lead. He can carry that load. Yeah. And she was just saying she's just grateful for Maurice, you know, um, being strong, you know, for her. And Maurice said, you know, that's just what I told you. Mm. You know, when I guess when he goes by himself, he probably just break down and have his moments, but he's not going to do it in front right. of Kim because now he's taking that lead mm. of bearing the burden of what she going through. And I yeah. think that that's powerful and it's going to make their relationship stronger. Also, to be in that type of uh, predicament, you got to have a, a strong man by your side, okay? Because some guys would take this opportunity and you just go out there and do, live their life, you know what I'm saying? If you, yeah, if you know what I mean, right. you know what I'm saying? Because they know where you at, you Straight not. Trash. Yeah, if but now do. it takes a strong man to like, you know what, you know, this is my wife. And you know, don't worry about it. You know, you I got my shoulder, you can put your head on my shoulder and we're gonna I I got you. I got your back. I got your back. So kudos mm -hmm. to my reason to the real man out there that 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 would do things like that. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. So um mm, yeah, I read that part. She says it's very comforting to have Maurice there, you know, to jump in and say, you know, you know, everything gonna be okay. So Kimmy, um she she did say that she hasn't told the rest of you know her, her close circle. You know she did. We saw she told her sister in law now, oh, but yeah. she didn't tell you know the rest of everybody. And Maurice was like, it's a lot when she had to tell the story over and over and over again. So sometimes he just kind of you know tell the story, you know. But she said now that she got this cat scan bag, she will you know share with everybody else. So let's move on to what Mel and the kids you know um coming into the house. Wow. This is nice. I promise you, I thought I was watching the episode of Family of Fiance. Yeah. Every time they go in the house, wow. Ooh. Nice. Man. Oh, yeah, guess. so that's what I understand. Um, so we do that too. I don't do it. She does. Okay, get your lie together. <laughs> we do I, I don't do that. We do I, it too. I, I, I mean, one time I've done that. I don't. I, First I don't. Of all, when you just said we do it too, that's I kinda, a lie. I, oh yeah, you're right. But then you say I do, she do it. Yeah, so I don't which do one it. Is it we or I? You. Okay. I don't do that. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so Mel and the kids are coming in, and Martell, um, and his mom came in as well. So you know, um, before they get there, Mel and the kids going through the house and seeing which room, you know, stuff like that or whatever. So, um, uh, Mel. They all come downstairs, Martel, you know, hugging on the kids and stuff. And he's saying, Mel, I got your favorite snack. Now, no matter how much they blurred it out, did you know what it was? Yeah. What was it? Uh, snack, a cracker, cracker snack. Uh, crunch and munch. Crunch and munch, yeah. Oh, dude, what's the other one? Fiddle foul. Yeah, it was crunch and munch. So, yeah. It looked like fiddle foul or crunch and munch. It was crunch and munch. I can remember the word crunch and munch. Can, you saw it? I can kind of see through Even it. though they blurred it yeah. out because they didn't want to get crunch and munch no play. So, um, so she said, okay, now this almost my favorite snack. Now they do have one that's with caramel because crunch much. Yeah, they got like too. Right, you it's you too. That? No, yeah, I knew somebody that ate it. But the point is. I eat it. You eat it? We can find something out, honey. I don't know you ate that. When, we, when you're married, you never know, honey. You can find that stuff. But yeah, I used to love some crunch and You're not saying it because Mel eat it. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. I am because I <laughs> just wanted to eat what she eat. So yes, but no, for real though, I didn't know you ate that. But yeah, yeah. fiddle fiddle crunch much. But I can tell you, over the years, that stuff has got really, really cheap. You may find one or two. What is it? Peanuts, walnut. I mean, peanuts, almonds, whatever they put in it. That like one or two. But the real one was um, I forgot the other kind. That was the real fancy to do one. But yes, I, I don't like know. That. But yeah, but he tried. Like I said, he said they ran out of her favorite flavor, so that he had to get the next best, the next best thing. Right. And uh, 
And he tried. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. thought about her when he went to the oh, store. Yeah. That's the thing. He thought about her. I ain't said, see them cheering, getting no snack. My chest said, F them kids. Here you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, why them trying to get their favorite snack, honey? Yeah. He, he, he probably said, Mama, hold up, I got a gun in this gas station for a minute. Yeah. He probably went to four, five gas stations. Oh, that's all y'all got. Y'all ain't got the regular other guy. Well, this is just gonna have to do. Hope she take these and she gonna be mad at me. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so she said, you know, um, uh, so she tell them that itinerary, this is what we're gonna do this day. Um, the next day we're gonna have a chef come in, gonna cook us breakfast and and, and lunch and everything. So I got it all planned. So, you know. Mail in the kitchen, honey. Woo! These ain't the wings I order. These ain't the wings. Mail. Why do every episode they got they have to have a scene of you eating on camera? On camera at that. And sometimes you be talking with food. Nah, she do not care. It's a it's a thing on TikTok that say we do not care. She well, not care. I tell you what, though, you can tell she country boy. Ah, at least she country. So she went in there. She looked for then. So she said these not the wings, but she had to taste them first. And then she opened the oh, box of pizza. You should be able to look at the wings and see if they plain or not, can't you? Yeah, lemon pepper. Yeah, lemon pepper. Evident. It's yeah, evident. it's evident. Um, I gotta taste it anyway. <laughs> so she said, "Okay, my tell you got my favorite snack. Let me make sure I look out for you, bro. You know you like them lemon pepper. They ain't got it. You know you like that piece of what pepperoni and, and sausage, sausage together, yeah. but they put them separately." Yeah. My tell like, <laughs> "Woo, you know me, girl." <laughs> so he said, "You know, hey, my tell." Uh, he said in his confession, "May I be authentic." Well, I noticed the shade because what are you saying? Has she been fake most of the time? Mm-hmm. Has she been not herself most of the time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He don't want to say it. We not saying it. Yeah. She being authentic. I mean, me personally, I'd be like, you know, like man being cool. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm glad we have a good time. But to use the word, she's being authentic. authentic. Yeah. Okay. But regards to the point, she has been he authentic. Said he likes it. He, he said likes it, and he said, man, there's still hope. Yeah, there's that's still what he hope. Want. Now, once crossed, again, toes crossed yeah, at this moment. At this moment, and so after the season went off, they went on that dunk on social media beef. Uh, yeah, the hope was gone. So Mel said, "Hey, can I go and talk to you for a minute upstairs?" He said, "Hold on, let's go eat first or get the kids." No, let's together. say a prayer first. Oh, okay. Kids. So, um, let's see. But Malaya, Malaya, I know we sat there and rewind. No, it. you. I knew. He said, "You What's don't know." He said, "You don't know the name, do you?" I said, "No." I said, "You know the name?" I think Malaya. I do. Malia. Malia. It's Malia. 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 That's what That's it was. It. Malia. We're gonna get it. So anyway, she uh, she said, "Listen, mom and daddy, y'all is both wearing white shirts." Mm. Why are you mm. making her sound like she's twenty five mm. years old? <laughs> what you know what? May I write them children are very smart and very to me intelligent honey. and very they, 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 they very observant. Yeah, observant. Yeah. yeah. So um, but so, yeah, yeah, so that's why I'm talking like she older because she be talking like she older. So anyway, I tell you, look, I said, yeah, we are wearing white, ain't we? But we didn't talk about it. This this wasn't planned. It just happened. Maybe the gods want us to be together. He didn't say that part, but I'm just saying, you know, y'all are wearing white. Y'all buying each other favorite snacks and food, and, mm. and Martell smiling, grinning, mm. and Mel grinning and smiling. It's a good time. Mm. It's a good time in Destiny with Let's the see, host. See, that's what the beach would do to you. The mm. beach life would do that to you, Ooh, man. It's a, it's a whole different vibe, yeah. right? Um, So they go upstairs, and you know, Mel basically wanted to tell him, listen, these are the the room arrangement. This way, y'all will be sleeping at. So, uh, Mel. Martell being Martell, honey. Martell said, listen, we not sleeping in the same room. And I don't know how the editing was or if she cussed him out or what, but it was very choppy. She like, I, I know. Maybe she was saying, I thought about, but she called herself. You know? No. Oh, she gonna say, yeah, no. <laughs> she know how to feel. <laughs> so. no, she, like, she like, no. And then she said, bleep, 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 bleep. And they said, woo, shy, we gotta cut that out because that wasn't even enough for, uh, uh, you know. So, um, 
and Martel asking, you know, about, you know, the rooms and stuff like that, because she was like, you know, the kids gonna be sleeping on this floor, you and your mom be sleeping up there. And he was like, well, why were you sleeping on the same floor as the kids? She was like, listen, it was just better because the bunk beds on this floor. Right. You should have got there or early or did some, but you no, know, her, her mom's yeah, sleeping I, on I, that I think Mel laid it out right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let Martel and the mom take the third floor. Yeah. So, um, anyway, um, so Martel, you know, I guess I don't know how we skip, you know, got to her room. I guess she went in her room afterwards or whatever. Bad editing. Yeah. Mm. And so, um, you know, he said, so she was like, okay, then go and get out of my room and stuff like that. He said, I don't want to be in that funky, basically, funky room anyway. You know, just being playful. No, he said, I don't want to be in your little funky rooms all white and clean. He didn't he, say funky. That's no, that's right. You know, he said, I don't want to be in your room anyway. All white and clean. You know, he said, ooh, I want my tail in this room. You know, that's when she got on close the door. No, that ain't what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, huh. she didn't close that door fast enough. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> And so Mel throws shade um, in her confessional and said, listen, Martel, don't complain about the room, honey. It's free to you anyway. Enjoy your free trip or your free vacation. I was like, did you really? Did you really have to do that? Yeah, you, I'm going to be honest with you. was doing good all this episode, Mel, until that last part. Did production pay for it? Because, you know, a lot of trips and stuff like that, you know, some stuff oh, production yeah, be paid yeah, for. I think, so, no, I don't know. Cause it, it did show it did show a picture of no Martel did show a picture of them being there once before when he was on the bike. So, mm -hmm. so let's see. Um, but Martel did say, you know, it feels good for them to be playful. They're in the same house, you know, and stuff like that. He said that he's very hopeful, you know, just like the kids, because the kids think, you know, they hoping they get back together, you know, they doing they, you know, yeah. but Mel was like, nope, me and your dad is not getting back together, just on vacation, we're doing this stuff for y'all. Keep it straight, keep it 100. Yeah, she told him, she told the kids, yeah, this is like, nah, man, you know, that door is so, so-called closed, which me personally, at the time, at that time, it was like a little bit of creep, crack still in that door, in my opinion. Um, But Martel said, you know what, you never know, you know, what God has in store. Martell. Well, honey, you didn't wait, child, because you swiftly moved it on. Yeah. Well, they had the, the, the beef with the kids on the social media, so, so yeah. Anyway, so, but, yeah, so they praying for good a good time there until Martell invited the Scots. Child, just now, that right there was, that was just yeah, wrong. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't know next week is, you know, the production tell the Scots to go down there, but that was a bad, bad Gross. move. Bad and, move. And listen, I get it. Filming is filming. You have to sometimes come to work and do what you got to do. But I'm sure that they not sleeping in that same house. So maybe they came down there for a day. Well, regardless to the point, they should have let them, let them be separated for right. right now. You know what I'm saying? Let them enjoy their time. Because when he said, I invited them, she like, who? Who? What? For what? You ain't saying nothing to me. And I totally agree, honey. You know, when you, when they say, hey, we're just going to be amicable. And we're going to be, you know, cordial. Mm -hmm. And just not be in each other's space. You know, I agree with that. Um, Tisha and Mel don't need to be in the same right. space. Why, right. Don't mix this with the kids being there and right. the family in there. That's just too, like you said, maybe they need some drama on the show. That's why they had the Scots go down. So there'd yeah. be some kind of tension. But this episode was a pretty good episode. It was. So you didn't need to, you know, let people just get along. You know, because you saw how Mel and Martell, they got along for the kids' sake. You saw what Kim and her family and her little village came together for her. You saw that? So, yeah, man. You know, the only part of this, this episode that got on my skin was the beginning with Tiffany and Stormy trying to push Mel to do something that she didn't want to do. Right. So, so but on that note, you guys, that's all we got. You know, we'll see what next week. What was it? Nick said it's going to come on the day after Thanksgiving. But the day, day after Thanksgiving. Man, so probably will. Probably so. probably will. Uh, because, honey, I think we got to, we narrowing it down to the reunion now. Right. Because the reunion got to be sometime in December, so. And y'all did good last week with the comments. No neg negative comments, no toxic comments, nothing. All good. Well, y'all did good with no negative about Mel, <laughs> no negative about uh, uh Y'all ain't been biased. 
Y'all did good. So when y'all do good, we do good. That's just how it works. That's well, what I'm saying, I, I, sure. well, since we really didn't say nothing biased towards mail this episode, it should be some good comments in this week. Uh, video. Would you like? Nope. All right. On that note, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. I was put God first, y'all. Deuces. Hey. I was put.